Hello there, it's Avinav Nirola. I'm back here with my new video. To continue day 9 of CPL T20 2020, we have a late afternoon match between St. Kitts and Navy's Patriots and Jamaica Talawas. Let's preview the matchup. Do like, share, and comment down below. Subscribe to my channel as well. On 29th of August 2020, the Queen's Park Oval Port of Spain Trinidad is going to host this matchup. This venue is very much friendly to most kind of spinners. In spin department, Jamaica Talawas have just been exceptional until now. After the installment of fresh pitch, this match will only be the second match. So expect conditions to remain likewise from the first match of the day. Spinners still shall get a lot of assistance. A bit of zip can be noticed for pacers as well. For pacers, the ultimate weapon might still be variations. Rain isn't expected at all during the course of this matchup, so expect these pace heavy attacks to opt batting first. St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots Chris Lynn, Evan Lewis, Joshua Da Silva, Dennis Ramdin, wicket keeper, Kyron Powell, Ben Dunk, Rayad Emrit, captain, Alzari Joseph, Is Sodi, Imran Khan and John Ross Jagesar. This 11 hasn't been clicking well. The major reason behind that is their batting attack which is way too unstable and out of form. No proper finisher is present in the lineup. None of those reputed T20 batsmen have clicked. Plus, their bowling attack seriously lacks numerous wicket-taking spinners. Form and consistency definitely isn't on their side this time around. Jamaica Talawas Glenn Phillips wicket keeper, Chadwick Walton, German Blackwood, Kruma Boner, Asif Ali, Roman Powell captain, Andre Russell, Muzi Bior Rahman, Virasami Parmahum, Sandeep Lamichane, and Phil Edwards. This 11 absolutely defines big names but small games. They have such a star started batting lineup but still they haven't been able to score even more than 120 runs for 4 matches now. This shows that names don't really matter in T20s, games too. On the other hand, their bowling lineup has absolutely shown its class. Every single bowlers, be it the pacers or the spinners, they have absolutely been majestic. If the likes of Asif, Powell and Russell come to their best, this team can still win the tournament. My prediction scoreline is firmly placed at 10-6. For this matchup, after glancing at the team's collective reputation and form, I am happy to pick JT as the potential winner. Take care.